Hello friends, welcome to Technoi channel. Today we will discuss about animation or transition effect using ViewWizards framework. And I am using Visual Studio code and uh, this is where I write my JavaScript code and right hand side I write HTML. This is the modified version of Google Chrome and this is my inspector. Okay. So I am using VUE framework to you know debug the variables and so on. So uh, before I get deep dive into the animation part, let me create a simple button. Okay, this simple button. So this button would like to toggle it, toggle the uh, above h1 element. Okay. So for that, I'll define a variable. So toggle true. Oh sorry, no need to give uh, as a string. So I can use true. So if I see here ng if or not ng sorry v if so toggle so if it is a true it will be visible if it is a false it won't be visible so on clicking the button v on click so toggle equal we can as i earlier mentioned we can uh, call any javascript me methods also, we can write simple JavaScript expression. So this is the simple JavaScript expression I, I'm using. So if the toggle is true, so the negation, this is the negation symbol. It will change it to false and assign it to back here. If it is false, it will assign the true to here. That is what this toggle is all about. Okay. So now let me reload it. So toggle, that is gone. Toggle is appearing. So this the thing so toggle gone toggle appearing now we'll try to discover how we can use the transition effect for doing that there is a one more element which is known as transition okay so h1 tag i created inside this uh, transition tag okay so we can give us some name over here so this name is whatever we like we can give let's give his background we would like to do animation about the background change okay now what exactly this view is this framework will help us to do in terms of transition it doesn't do too much thing okay it doesn't stylize it doesn't bounce it or fade the color or it doesn't do much of those kind of stuff so you need to understand or know about css to get the desired behavior of, out of it because Vue.js is a JavaScript framework, so in certain interval, it will try to inject the class name. For example, this h1, we do not have any class name. Okay, so by specifying this, we by wrapping inside this transition element, so what it will do, it will try to add class names. Okay, so uh, because we given the name is bg, it will try to uh, add four class name, bg enter. busy enter active okay so this class will be created before uh, before even this element is displayed or rendered inside this DOM or even not generated and this active will be uh, this class will be applied till the duration we specified under in CSS transition element for example two second or three second we can specify so this class and this class will be created for certain duration okay after that both will be uh, evaporated both will be gone okay similarly when we uh, try to toggle this we try to switch off this element or we want to get rid of from the dom element so bg hyphen leave bg hyphen leave active class will be implemented so this class, so initially uh, here the sequence would be 1, 2, here the sequence would be 1 and 2. This will be applied first, then it will be applied first, uh, later. Okay. So these four classes will be <coughs> assigned by Vue.js framework. So you got it. So the reason of telling that once we applied our job is done. So this we can configure the name 
but the whatever the class we can create we can definitely configure later phase so i'll explain you but this is a very basic example okay so let us create a style for that busy enter okay so we'll define busy enter um, active okay so as i said i would like to style based upon the background color background uh, let's say for example white okay now let me give a transition this is the css property css3 edition nowadays most of the browser supports it otherwise you have to use vendor prefix so transition background color we can specify the time duration three seconds okay now let me reload it keep eye on this okay this element type this h1 now if i toggle it this will be gone okay now when i added it so this class will be added for some time it won't be visible and white to uh, no background color it will be transition for duration of three seconds see this is fading up and this is you can display over here now go on so you see busy enter active has been displayed right then that, that would be gone okay similarly we can uh, use busy leave and busy leave active So, because this would be in the end, so we'll give background as none because this this is after this is gone. This class will be implemented. You, uh, mostly, it is it doesn't have much significance. So here we'll give background as red color because this is before before even this is left. This is the duration it will be available for a certain time. So transition background. background color for second okay red color red to none okay so it is gone uh, just a second background oh sorry I, I, I have this is always I got confused this is not uh, Transform both us feel similar to me. Okay, see this toggling is happening. Okay, let us see that here. Now it will appear. For appear, uh, for certain duration the color will be white. Then it will be uh, because there is a no background color for the actually element, so it will be gone. So this transition will happen white to gone if you can use some other color this transition will happen now let me see i'm toggling so it will happen for the red color see see notice this class leave active and after a certain time it will be available for three seconds and it will be gone okay so here probably i we can specify some um, pink pink color is there let's see how it is happening I think that won't be displayed. See this this is coming up. It is some transition happening. Why to okay or, or is there any other color I can give? You can play around with the color combination. I'll give some more tutorial where you see the there is a color transition is happening. Okay. Oh this is not quietly evident from the non to you know red it is happening or blue to happening. But this is the way you can change this uh, behavior of, uh, of this you know you can imply some uh, this particular class will be created by Vue.js only by giving this transition name and this button and this we created by ourselves so you can apply this uh, transition effect almost all the uh, almost all the module all the component or any uh, table or any buttons or form element or whatever it may be like so i'll create other a little bit intermediate to advanced tutorial 
so that you can leverage some of the additional framework to get more animation effect like bouncing fading and just jumping around here and there so let's try to play around a little bit this animation is a little bit kind of uh, enjoyment experience and a lot of uh, manipulation of time uh, and just keep on experimenting experimenting so sometime you may like or sometime not okay so thanks very much for watching hope it gives a little bit message to you you will learn a little bit about it so if you like my videos kindly like it or definitely subscribe to it so that you will get uh, update about my new videos uh, and you can see in your feed whenever you logged into youtube or if you enable your emails you will get an email notification so thanks again have a wonderful day ahead bye bye